what's up everybody how are you doing welcome back to another video and this is a let's play for velvet assassin it's a new game a new video and i'll be testing the normal difficulty yes i have to overwrite my campaign which i already started let's see the game be back in the wall. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only some of this are blood and bone. Creatures without souls. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line. The Reich was running out of oil. They guarded every barrel like the Crown Jewels. The main entrance was secured like the fear's bunker. Fortunately, every rat's nest has a second entrance. I had to try and find it. I jumped over a wooded area that bordered on the rear of the complex. Unfortunately, my equipment was stuck at the top of a blasted tree during the landing. To make matters worse, I saw that the area was guarded by Waffen SS troops. Those units had one basic rule take no prisoners, exactly like me. Alright, so this game is being played within the memories of our beloved assassin Violet Summer. And we will be getting to real time towards the end. As I'm making this video, I've already beaten the game. The reason for that is because I lost the first let's play footage and I recorded a second and third video and I found this game really hard. Game is really hard. It's an old game so they used to make games like this. It looks cinematically pleasing. It's not that bad. I like the textures. The cutscenes aren't that great. But even the story is lackluster. I would say the only good thing about this game is that it runs properly. Uh, the gameplay is buggy, but the game does not crash. It does not have any major glitches. Which for an old game is, a, is something good. Because there are absolutely no compatibility issues. 
Absolutely not. You can collect these collectibles, they give you a lot of XP points. And then you can level up. I could easily take the soldier out of the way. I only had to be careful creeping up on him. In Berlin, you press control and crouch, you go into sneak mode. You are undetected easily. That gives you a chance to perform backstabs on enemies. You sneak up from behind. The game does look good. For a game that was released in, I believe in 2009 by Replay Studios. This was only for Xbox and PC. But I, I had would to wait until they just to play on PC because the Xbox version is really buggy. Really, really buggy. And you can restart from the last checkpoint if you die. Because if you have to see the cutscene. It gets really messy because it takes a lot of time to see the cutscene again and again. So I prefer to load the checkpoint. I had to manually. wait until they separated. Was der erlebt hat, ist nicht so leicht zu verdauen. Naja. Ich vertrete mir noch ein bisschen. The die game has Macht a das. really tragic ending, by the way. Really sad. So your preference should be to look, get to a checkpoint first um, because it saves the game and that has been a really uh, problematic uh, part for me in this game to get to a checkpoint because you don't know when you will get to a checkpoint and you can't save the game manually. The game is really hard, really hard so it makes my job kind of, kind of difficult. Since I wanted to beat the game early, I did not enjoy the story, I wasn't savoring this game personally. And I don't think a lot of people play games like this anymore. They prefer more subtle approach to their difficult games. I, I actually put this game I in could use the one of the here to increase my more difficult games based on category. The red bar on the bottom. It will indicate how much. How much of total morphine uh, duration is there. The first step was done. I was finally in the bunker. If you run out of the morphine the effect, was to uh, the you will go back and the real time. Raids. You won't have that slow motion. That invincibility. The mishap with my lost equipment would not stop me. But without explosive charges, the situation was hopeless. But the Germans were sure to have explosives stored somewhere in the bunker. Soon they would see what they were good for. 
A German fuel depot and an explosive charge sounded like a very promising combination. The problem was I had to be back outside before this rendezvous developed chemistry. Lockers like this often had useful things in them. broken fragments. Creeping silently over that was impossible. Letters often contained useful information. Very interesting. Hey! Steh auf, Mann! Scheiße! Good use of the mask. I 
still needed an explosive charge first. Wer ist da? War ja klar. Wieder nichts. In case you get tagged, go back and get your medicates, recharge your health. Although, I won't lie, I died a lot on the first playthrough. Because I was not patient. I still am not. I haven't learned how to be patient. You can't just learn that. But at least now, I know where I need to go. What do I need to do? Even if I run out of all of my products. It's okay, because I'll be able to find my way. But I wouldn't recommend doing this, because the game is going to be increasingly difficult now. There is a morphine over there which you can use to kill enemies like I've shown before. Keep that in mind because I'll be ending the video soon. I don't want to keep this video too long. You need to let me know if you want more such videos. It's just a gameplay showcase basically. shouldn't have used an etiquette, but it's okay. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I need to shut down the electric current that's running through the wire. Observe the enemy patterns and then find if you can or cannot backstab them. But that's it, that's that's the gameplay. That's how you play. There's a lot more to it actually. 
and even though it seems kind of easy but it isn't it's very difficult there's a lot of things to figure out and dying and then trying I also do not have a single upgrade so I'm gonna be making a run for it I died. It's okay. Um, this was kind of weird that they closed the gate. Usually you can open it. Uh, I would say it's really the game's fault, not yours. So that's it. That's the gameplay. What you should have probably done is waited a little bit and triggered the morphine once you come back down. Uh, let's take a look. Let's try to do this again. Warning. The door was electrified. I definitely had to turn off the power first. So they will get aggroed as soon as I flip the switch, basically. Power should be off now. But I'm not gonna use morphine right now. Couldn't move, so I used it, but it's okay. I'm gonna make a run for it. Very nice. That would do to blow up the fuel depot. It's okay. Well done. 